Hello, welcome to the Environmental Fluid Mechanics Laboratory uh, in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at Colorado State University. My name is Karan Vinayagamuthi. I'm the director of this lab and a professor in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. And my goal today is to sort of uh, give you a quick overview of what's going on in this uh, new facility that was uh, developed in the last couple of years with the help of the Munford Family Foundation funds as well. So what I would like to do now is to take you through our facility. Our computational section on this side, you know, these are some of the heavy workstations that we got where we are able to run some, um, some uh, big simulations for using computational fluid dynamics, can hold our seminars, uh, have students visit and give talks. And in the third section of the lab, you will see this very nice flume. This is a new, brand new flume that allows us to study water flows. And then we have this small conference room here, and, and this is where we sort of have our, our research meetings as well as sort of brainstorming exercise. You can see there's a whiteboard, and this is where our graduate students sort of do their work. You can see the uh, cool things that, that get created in this, in this space. You, you will get a chance quickly now to see uh, some of our graduate students and undergraduate students talk through this to give you an exposure to the wide range of problems that have been addressed in this laboratory. So, my name is Mahmoud, and I'm a PhD student at the Civil and Environmental Engineering Department. This is my second year. My research is focusing on studying the aerodynamic temperature over irrigated uh, crops in Colorado and some other fields around the U.S. I'm trying to understand the turbulent fluxes that affects the aerodynamic temperature and affects the evapotranspiration and the heat fluxes, and trying to uh, incorporate fluid mechanics into the agriculture practice. Hello everyone, my name is Yishu Zhang. I'm a master student of Dr. Koran in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at CSU. My project is about improving hydraulic efficiency of disinfection tanks for drinking water. This is a seven years long project including various innovative technologies from six students in our lab. And this study is important because by giving a good hydraulic performance, the disinfection system could provide a high quality drinking water and ensure people's health. Um, hi, my name is Jessica Baker. I'm a first year master's student pursuing um, an MS in civil engineering, and my focus is water and international development. And so I will actually be going to KwaZulu Natal, um, South Africa, and working with a large water company who's willing to collaborate with us in order to um, assess the efficiency of their systems currently, work with them to come up with modifications uh, in order to boost their efficiency. The idea is to have a lasting impact, um, not only in South Africa, but um, potentially, like I said, coming back to the United States. My name is Jian. I'm a PhD student of Dr. Kwan. In the environmental fluid mechanics lab, my research topic is about turbulent flow over obstacles uh, with or without density stratification. My research problem includes large-scale weak structure downstream of a, of a porous patch, also the dynamics of density current propagating over a large uh, submerged array of cylinders. These uh, research problems will be of great importance to both fundamental fluid dynamic research and also industrial applications. Hi, my name is Dakwa and I'm a PhD student here and I study curved open channel flows, um, specifically studying the flow structure and dynamics of a fluid as it negotiates the bend. My, my tool of choice is using computers to run simulations. Uh, that aspect of fluid dynamics is called computational fluid dynamics. So for example, I can zoom into the small scales, uh, I can take a patch, I can look at large scale, I can have fluids in suspension, I can have fluids in, in reverse, I can go back in time. Understanding the mechanics of reverse starts with understanding the mechanics of a fluid negotiating a bend. And I'm doing this because this has practical implications for the way we restore rivers, the way we um, even do bank protection works, the way we design man-made channels, most of which are not uh, straight. So that's the essence of, of, of what I do. Hi, my name is Sydney Turner. I am a first year master's student in the Water and International Development Program in the Civil and Environmental Engineering Department. 
I'm actually doing a collaboration project with Dr. Stretch at the University of KwaZulu-Natal in Durban, South Africa. So my project looks at how we can harness the sustainable energy from waves um, in order to induce mixing in these photobioreactor tubes. The idea is we generally see wastewater as a waste product and instead we're using that as the feedstock for the algae. You're getting a cleaner effluent, also seeing this new stock of renewable energy because we have algae that we can turn into biofuels. So that's why I'm very interested in this project. Hi, my name is Alex Carpenter. Um, I am a third year undergraduate and I've been working at the EFML since last semester. The work I've been doing has been uh, uncertainty analysis for a couple different uh, flow measuring instruments. One of them is an acoustic Doppler velocimeter. Uh, the other is a laser Doppler anemometer. The reason behind this study is because although the LDA is significantly more uh, accurate than the ADV, uh, it is also significantly more expensive. The goal of this work is to try to quantify the error in the ADV's measurements to try to help better inform the other researchers' uh, purchasing decisions as well as help them better interpret the data that they're receiving from an ADV. Hi, my name is Amrapali Garnayak. I'm a PhD candidate working with Dr. Karan in the Environmental Fluid Mechanics Lab. Uh, my focus of study mostly is stratified turbulence, which is very common phenomena in ocean, atmosphere, estuary, this kind of geophysical flows. When the stratification kicks in, the small scales do not behave isotropy, what is general assumption of Kolmogorov hypothesis. And this is a problem in oceanic measurements, because in oceanic measurements, people do this assumption as their key element and do the measurement of the turbulent quantities. From the turbulent quantities, we predict the ocean mixing. The ocean mixing has a very high impact on the merid meridional overturning circulation and also the climate. So accurate prediction or parameterization of the mixing and small scale isotropy parameters very necessary for our study. Thank you. This lab was really created with the idea that we would be able to conduct fundamental and applied research in a very controlled setting and also a, a state of the art facility on campus that can promote education of our students in fluid mechanics and water engineering. Our long-term goal, of course, is to establish a world-class program in environmental fluid mechanics that addresses research and education of our students.